forecasters estimate a 25% chance of M-class solar flares today. The most likely blast site sunspots R1904 and R1905 are not, however, facing Earth. Any eruptions this weekend will probably miss our planet. Solar flare alerts, text, voice comets in the solar wind, NASA's Stereo-A spacecraft is monitoring calm Edison as it approaches the sun for a close encounter on November 28th. The latest movie from the spacecraft's heliospheric imager captures not only Comet Edison but also Earth, Mercury, and Comet Enc. Click to set the scene in motion, in the movie, which spans a two-day period from November 19 to November 22, the sun is to the right, off-screen. The dark clouds coming from the direction are density enhancements in the solar wind, and these are what are causing the ripples you see in the comet tails, explains Carl Bottoms of NASA's Comet Edison Observing Campaign. Although the two comets seem to be experiencing the same solar wind, their tails ripple differently. Enk has kind of long waves in the tail, whereas Edison seems almost like high-frequency puffs, points out Bottoms. Appearances notwithstanding, the two comets might be in two different streams of solar wind. The most likely explanation is that Edison is in a faster stream, he continues. Imagine holding a flag on a slightly breezy day. The flag will waft gently in the breeze. Now imagine holding it in really strong winds. The flag will be rippling violently, but those ripples will be smaller in amplitude. Buttons also suggests a second, more speculative possibility. Comedison, T4 days, Comedison is now only four days from perihelion. On November 28, Thanksgiving Day in the USA, it will fly through the sun's atmosphere little more than a million kilometers above the surface of the sun. At closest approach, the temperature of Edison's core could rise as high as 5,000 O Fahrenheit an existential challenge for an icy comet. No one knows if it will survive. As the final countdown ticks to zero, photographers are taking some marvelous parting shots. Here is Comet Edison plunging into the sunrise beside Mount Fuji on November 22. Japanese photographer Kigei took the picture using a Canon EOS 1DC digital camera. This is a three-second exposure at ISO 2000, he says. In the full-sized image, you can also see Mercury hovering to the left of the comet. For more unique images of Comet Edison, including a daytime shot from Los Angeles and a conjunction with the Temple of Poseidon in Greece, browse the real-time photo gallery. Oh.